How are we doing? I'm Dustin Like the Chore, and today I will be playing The Invincible The Demo. Developed by Star Ward Industries, it is a single player, story driven adventure set in a hard sci fi world. I'm excited to get right into it and show you what it's all about. Here we go. Welcome to The Invincible Demo. The fragment you'll play is not the beginning, but it takes place later in the game. The main protagonists have already been through the, quite a lot. However, we don't want to spoil your experience of the entire game by explaining too much. On the next page, we will provide just a brief introduction to the scene that is taking place. Please keep two things in mind. First, getting to know this fragment of gameplay may still affect your reception of earlier parts of the game. Unavailable spoiler alerts. So there, there's some spoilers in here, uh, apparently. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're watching this. Second. Remember that the current state of the game is not the final project. We're still working very hard to improve this, its quality and performance. And now, dot, dot, dot. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so here's the information. Yasna. Yasna has found information on the convoy sent from the field base of the Alliance, a hostile faction in a space race across the galaxy. Nevertheless, she is desperately needs, she is desperately needs, she desperately needs to find other people even if they are political enemies. Yasna crosses the excavation area and heads toward the ravine following the convoy. She's getting closer, so she needs to prepare for meeting the Alliance by conferring with her astrogator. He's the commander of their unit. From early in the game, he's supported Yasna's actions from aboard a spaceship orbiting the planet where the entire story takes place. Regus 3. So here's the uh, 3D experience aspect to this game. It is... Uh, Kind of a, uh, this looks like it could be a, like a VR game. I think it will be. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No, no, I don't. I still think we have to go there. If they're not on the base, they must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy, or try and take a side path. To remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. Could be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, then. It's your call, Yasna. Mm. Huh. Actually, I don't think it will make much difference. I'm heading straight to the convoy. What? Uh, okay. I, I guess I should have just gone with it. It's out of the demo, obviously. Uh, okay, so. Let's see what this is all about. A little, little shaky, but not bad. This has definitely got to be a, a VR game at some point. Because this is absolutely geared to do that. Absolutely, without a doubt. Let's see what we got here. Here's my whip. <laughs> Jeez, we're driving like a freaking tank right now. Not too. Oh my goodness, I gotta hold the phone. I'm like having to drop in frame rate or something. Good, maybe. Oof, oof. Okay, so the the game. I'm I'm on lower settings right now, and it seems like the game's still kind of. It could be because it's a demo. Okay, so load my settings. It still kind of seems a little finicky. I hope you guys get the full res. Man, it is spacey. Let me just. There's like a little bit of a. The destination. Oh, it's doing better now. I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a sidewall collapse. Ooh. Some radiation. radiation is rising rapidly. 
vehicle. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy. It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking I hope for the not. rest. Honestly, the graphics. Look at this. Look at this game right now. I think it needs a little bit more optimization. I mean, I'm also in like higher settings, but this is like very, very pretty. Like the lighting and the rock. Try to keep it stable for you, but uh. It's definitely a very pretty game. I'm actually excited for this one for sure. Oh, what do we got here? Okay, I got down the uh, the convoy number of the vehicle. Looks like uh, they bailed. This one for sure. My goodness. It's very dark. Do I have a flashlight? No flashlight that I know of. Holy cow, it's very dark. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? Oh, what? What is that? A little, little night vision? Kinda? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, we're climbing up. We're gonna check out the top. How terrifying. This whole thing is just covered. Where did where did the squad go? It looks like they were able to make it out. That's for sure. And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one. How many have those today? Is it active? Dead, fortunately. Mm. I admire your composure. Well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Huh? I am the most composed in these situations, I would say. That is that is a fact. What do, what do, we, what do we got here? What, what, what did you just pull out? What's this little... Little Christmas, Christmas light show we got. What? Oh! Oh no! Astrogator. Yeah! It. Yeah, he, he's messed up. Yeah, he's very messed up. Uh, I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them that. was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place, not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. You messed up. No, oh, I know what they're doing there. They literally, their 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 convoy got messed up. Oh, another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. Not gonna go in there, right? <laughs> Let's check this out. What do we got? Okay, okay. I'm getting into the antimats recorder. Let's see, what we got. Let's see what information we can get off of this, if any. Yeah, right. Of course, yeah, it comes out like little, uh, what do we have here? little floppy disks. That's it. They were that. preparing for departure. All the tech, and they don't have video footage, they just have a drawing? Coordinates match the location of the base we've searched. Mm. All of the Alliance's semi-autonomic machines can be remotely controlled, right? Uh, yes. Case they were conducting an inspection before marching out. Mm. Plot thickens. The convoy is heading somewhere. They pass mm. giant cranes pulling something out of a, well, giant hole. Interesting. I don't recognize that place. Mm. Just in case, I've noted down the coordinates. Of course, of course. They're getting close to where I am now. Who's taking the time to draw these out? <laughs> Someone had to have been behind the convoy and like freeze framed it, you know? Or maybe they just sat there until they were done. 
Not sure. They're here. Sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Mm. Oh, they're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How oh, subtle. Can you locate the bridge? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Oh, they course. went in the tunnel. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. It's it's on the photo. The the artist got it right right as it was. Huh. Shame. The transport's leaving. Hmm? Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. They found what they were looking for. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to. I have no idea what's beyond the frame. Next slide. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back. People rushing out of the tunnel. Did I miss something? I don't think so. Running from whatever's in there. But are we still considering that we should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing. But also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asta. Hmm. I can take care of myself. Spare me your concern, sir. I'm not a child. I'll be fine. Got my big girl pants on. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What next? I don't know. I'm getting there. Hold, I hold your horses. There's nothing else. Oh, wow. Only darkness. Can't you see what he was aiming for? No. Panic. Everyone's trying to escape. Astrocator. The Antimats' new objective is to eliminate, instead of protecting. What happens next? What? There's also a second Antimat. It's shooting into the air. Both were false. The second Antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. Oh. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Oh, that's the guy that got... That's this guy. Shooting them. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Who needs such destructive power? This technology puts us... Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Whoa. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. It sounds like this is a an AI robot that uh, became self-aware or just malfunctioned and started killing everything in sight. That's that's what I'm gathering here. Uh, I don't know how it shut off, but I, I'm sure we'll find out here soon. Oh, no. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is our future. It, it killed him. The machine just killed him. No regret. Oh fuck. Yes, no. The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. 
and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. So? I'll go check it out. I know you will, yes. Proceed. Oh, whoa. It's a very in-depth game. There's a lot of fun little... Very immersive. I think that's a better word for it. Very immersive. Seems like a rays in radiation a bit. I can hear a rhythmic metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. A robot? Something still active. Take your time, young man. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio is breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an Arctan. Coming at me. Ha. Huh. Carrying something. What's going on? Oh my gosh. What is going on? Can you hear me? Over. Copy that. I don't feel too. What is my going on? My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Jasper. You need to rest. Give me that box. No. No. I'm better now. What are you looking for? This is strange. Oh, here we go. Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. That's ridiculous. So obviously a lower level robot. Someone gave it a task and then everything went wrong. There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Metal same as the ones bushes. near our camp. Interesting. Well... The lower parts of the bushes are fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. Oh man. Come on, that's, we gotta make it. We gotta. I'm probably gonna die here. I think their crew took some soil samples. There's his chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is. More metal? Yes, a metal interior. Oh. Come on, get up, soldier. Ah, we're done. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. They jumped down there? Yeah. That's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Well, absolutely. Say no more. Can you please check them, Yasser? Simple task. Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, it's all metal. Then I'll use the detector. Right. Detector! Checking. Give me a sec. Oh, what's that? Everything matches. There's metal all around. Oh, and the there's bushes a root? have a direct connection with the whole system. Very interesting. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's it looks like two generations. One old dead a relic. Second, these bushes grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive. We can't rule us out. Can't you say that as a biologist? 
haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yeah. Mm. Every planet, planet would be different, that is for sure. I'm just opening up to the unknown. What now? Let me check more plants. Capitan? The box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those fruits. Them somehow. It won't oh, yeah, be easy just... to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll just open the. Oh, shit! I can't handle it anymore. <sighs> what? Oh, it's moving. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! I saw it. I saw it go. You saw it too. I didn't. Yeah. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Huh. I found the robot. Easy it peasy. Hold on. The robot better not blow me up. I just teleport? What? Oh, fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. Oh. The robot? No, no, the anti -mat. You need to act fast. Move, yes, no, fuck. No. Yes, no. Oh, no. Alive? Yeah, I'm alive, but I gotta. What are you doing now? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Find them the best medics. Yes, what do you No. I, I tried. No. Don't die on me now. I don't have a choice. You can't. Successful mission. Are you safe now? Safe enough. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine. That son of a gun. He, he almost got me killed. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Yeah, you better not. Neither do I expect you to. Uh, yep. Marit, she can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So. What do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I, I can't mm. just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people and what we can do to aid them. Mm. For now, you can forget about the research material. Yeah, it's the only thing left gone. of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first anti-map told us a lot. 
second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Find the rover. Let's go find the rover. I assume it's probably this way. Make the way through here. Oh, there they are. Let's see if we can find the rest of the convoy. Actually, it's right in front of me. Listen to the radio recordings. Oh, what we got here? Oh, they, they died in the cave in. Oh man. Doozy. Whoa there. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keep? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh? I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor. These tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing mm. new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated, and this is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? <laughs> Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry. Resembling the letter Y, with three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Yeah, shut up, Novik. Last big. saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So, all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such oh, as wow. helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, it. they don't understand the world around them. Ton of information on us right now. Learn the world anew. 
I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember anything. Even language, their past, our voyages together. Get out of here. Let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'd be worth examining. Confirm at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Find the container with flies. That sounds ridiculous. Uh, oh, I have a key. Did not know that. The door oh. to the cargo bay has budged oh. a little, but it won't open fully. I don't know if I want to go in there. Holy cow. It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Oh, there you go. Now. Mm. There we go. We can see broken containers. No sign no flies, of the flight. No. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. Uh, well, look, I think it might work like this. Mm. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. That's what I was thinking. I that the flies are part In a, of the bushes. a wraparound way, Just yes. like the fruits. I was actually thinking that. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Follow Evolution. Also very different. And mm. dead. Necro evolution. Mortuus evolutionis. I still oh. don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again Just stop ready nerding to out and relocate. To a new <laughs> oh my god! And so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you, it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. There we go. The second transporter is under a force field. Interesting. Hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. Possibly. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. Mm. And the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Oh, well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Mm. Ah, got it. I know how to get inside, under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Oh, I think I know where to go. I went this way earlier. I tried to go that way earlier and it tried to kill me though, so. 
Or maybe I was just running out of oxygen. I, I don't know. But I'm gonna head that way now. Go check it out. This game is chock loaded. I mean, this is mid game gameplay. So, but it has got a lot of information, a lot of technical things that I don't know about right now. Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, we're learning about a lot of it. And this planet in general being like predominantly. Uh, predominantly covered in metal plant-like species. Very interesting. Very, very pretty as well. This game is very, well, very well done as far as the look and feel as uh, of, of how it goes. You know, it's very uh, realistic. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if I play this on a VR headset, one of the newer VR Astrogator, headsets, I found their probe. Looks don't like get it you hit as. from the flies, or just ended up here by pure luck. luck Motion sick. I think this valuable, game would if to be as close as you can get to realistic. There's a lot of dialogue though. That's crazy. Wait, what was I not supposed to do? Um, as long as you're taking photos, I'm, I'm all good with that. Come here. I'm trying to really? grab it. Come here. Oh, Come here. I'm right That's next so to right. it. Grab it. Grab it. I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem mm, than me being scary. You're not trying. <sighs> I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I won't be able to bring the probe down. Unless I find a working controller. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You have to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Anogo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. Clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Mm. Just as I thought, the equipment's still active, but everyone here's dead. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's around here. Somewhere. What are we looking for? Ah, there we are. Oh wait, that's a bitten glove. What? It's more than that. I'm starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moments. They were left to fend for themselves. Yet unable to do so. This one man. He even ate parts of his suit. Trying to survive. One second. My freaking. Longer problem. Disabled. Perfect. All that's left is to get the flies out of there. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. I hope. 
Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So, what? Off we go? Yes, sir. What are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. We have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course, I'm on it. Although, first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Watching them, nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? Some goddamn black horrors up there in the stratus for. And you say not to worry. Just look outside, Doctor. See for yourself. Group of these flies to be. I can tell you. Yes, yes, yes. I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. So that was the Invincible, the demo. Uh, sorry about the audio cutout. Uh, I had a massive spider on my monitor. I'm not even kidding. It was like the size of a quarter, and I knocked it down. And it ran across my desk and I think I unplugged my audio or something like that. I don't even know, but, uh, it cut out and yeah. So I cut the rest of the, uh, face cam out too. Cause it was just been me reacting to senseless things, but that's an awesome game. Uh, it's been like a week and a half since I recorded. So I don't remember specifically what I said, but honestly, just give it a try for yourself. It's out on steam. Uh, It'll be out, I think, this year, 2023. Uh, but it seems like a great game all in all, like the graphics, the story. There's a lot of content just in that demo and some spoilers, but uh, supposedly that's what they say at least. But definitely gave me like a Mars vibe, like if we went to Mars, except obviously I assume it wasn't Mars because there was uh, aspects of Mars that aren't there. I guess more the the metal the metal plants and whatnot being connected with the the entire uh, ecosystem of that planet. But it's a good game. Give it a try. Uh, if you like my content and you want to get more of my content, please subscribe and turn that notification bell on. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like because it'll tell me that I should make content similar to this, as well as making a full series whenever this game comes out. Uh, should be out soon. So, but. Leave a comment, uh, your favorite part, or if you enjoyed something about me, or if you have a recommendation for something for me to play, then I'm, I'm all ears for that. Uh, but thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.